Welcome back to a day in football where today well nice little world cup prediction moment right here on this channel tournament's about to start very soon but here we are predicting that's right we're on the fifa the website the actual website this is actually a game i didn't even know about this if we go ahead and scroll up like you can get points for correct finishing position per team you can get points for like you know predicting the correct qualifiers etc etc you play against leagues online with your friends and stuff like that but we're not doing any of that today with predictions of the group stage that's what goes first and then we'll move on to the bracket as well first things first group a very obvious senegal had a very very big blow losing Mane right before the world cup which sucks because senegal is actually a very good team they did win the afcon and they have great players information being released saying that qatar is actually trying to bribe ecuador for them to win the first group stage match which is kind of insane this, this world cup has not even started and it's already kind of crazy we're for sure going to put netherlands top of the group i don't even want to ask questions and then for the sake of the world cup because the home country always has to go past the group stages that's just the way it's always been it's just the way it's gonna be qatar even if they buy matches it is what it is they're gonna go second place senegal third ecuador fourth that is my prediction for group a group b an interesting one yes sir that's right we have iran us england wales england goes first and here's the here is a tough one right because i would go wales usa but I do think the U.S. will surprise us this World Cup, despite all of their players being young. But I'm going to go for them for second place. And Wales, I'm sorry. I know y'all are good, but I mean, at, at this point, like, the U.S. is actually not bad. So, Group C, El Grupo La Muerte, Stay Mad. Um, Argentina, not going to lose a game. Messi scoring hat-tricks every game. It is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be real. I'm just trying to be real. And I'm not even going to lie. I don't even think they're going to get their place. But I'm going to do it because it's my country and it is what it is. And I do not want to put them in fourth because that would just be very sad. Okay. Here's an interesting group. We got Group D, France, Denmark, Tunisia, I believe. And then Australia. So, you automatically want to go France, Denmark. Duh. But, but I'm going to go out on a limb here. It's because... The World Cup curse, it's real. We all know that it's been happening World Cup after Cup after Cup. Look at this group though. Will France lose against these teams? They won't. They won't. They just literally just won't lose against these teams. Like realistically. I am gonna go ahead and put Denmark first though. They're not gonna win every game. I'm gonna tell you right now. They're not gonna be on fire, but they're still gonna pass. It's group E, Japan, Costa Rica, Germany, Spain. What a group. This group is probably my favorite in terms of like excitement i don't know because japan y'all do not sleep on japan they are good spingo is gonna, is gonna go number one and then we're in between germany and japan costa rica and japan are actually gonna beat germany i'm gonna go ahead and pick japan over germany i might be wrong i probably am gonna be wrong but hey I'm trying to make this interesting, right? And then Group F, Belgium, Croatia, Canada, Morocco. I'm sorry, Morocco. I know you're a good team. I know Ziyech scored a halfway line goal, but I do not care. Canada is not bad. They're just not better than Croatia or Belgium. Group G, Brazil, obviously going to be on top. Cameroon. Now, I want to choose Cameroon, and I will. African countries, they're good. And I wouldn't even be surprised if this World Cup, one of the African countries make it far. And my favorite was Senegal. But losing Mane was a huge loss for them. It really, really was. Really devastated about that. Keep on completing Group G. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put Serbia as third. Here is a great group. Obviously, we got Portugal and Uruguay, two very strong candidates. Portugal, a uh, strong candidate to win the World Cup as a whole. Uruguay is a great team. Darwin Nunez, Bentecourt, Valverde, Fernando Muslera, which I like, by the way. I really like that goalkeeper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put Korea and then Ghana. And that just automatically continued us to the next stage because our group stage is complete. Now moving on to the bracket. All right, so first match, December 3rd. If according, if Netherlands get first place and the US get second place in their groups, they're gonna be going up against each other on the 3rd of December at 9 a.m. 
and the Netherlands is gonna pass. And then this, if France gets second place in their group, Argentina gonna get first because it is what it is. It's actually gonna be a repeat and a rematch of last World Cup when France knocked out Argentina, but this time it's gonna be different. Argentina are gonna be knocking out France. There it is. Spain against Croatia, a game we always like to see. Spain is gonna win. Now this next one, right? Brazil getting top, Uruguay would get second against Portugal. That is gonna be a good game, right? Brazil is gonna take it. I'm not I'm not even ready to predict this one. I'm not even gonna lie. In. I'm gonna go England over Qatar. I'm gonna go Poland over Denmark. Belgium over Japan, which is insane because this is also, you know what? No, I'm gonna go Japan over Belgium only because last World Cup it was the same thing Belgium against, against Japan and Japan was winning and Belgium came back with nine minutes left in the game. Shout out for Fellaini. I'm pretty sure it was Fellaini. Could be wrong, but honestly, I'm gonna just go Japan. At Portugal, it's gonna be Cameroon. It's going back up top, going into the quarterfinals. Netherlands against Argentina. What a match. Argentina's gonna win. Spain against Brazil. Now listen, listen, right? This right here might be one of the best matches that we might see this World Cup because Spanish football is beautiful. We've seen it time and time again. Tiki Taka, the technique, it really is unmatched. There's just something about Spanish football that makes the player better. Now, Brazilian flair is real. I really want to go Spain here, right? I really want to go Spain, but I can see Spain struggling to score against Brazil and I can see Brazil getting two goals. And I don't know if Spain can score three against Brazil. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go Brazil over Spain because Spain, as good a team they are, they're not there yet and they don't have a solid goal scorer. Morata, Asensio, come on. England against Poland, not a question, I'm sorry. Japan against Portugal. I, I just gotta choose Portugal, surely. I really just do. Now this, this is looking nice. This is looking nice, I cannot lie. Semi-finals, Argentina, Brazil. I'm looking at this, right? And this is gonna be a very tough match, but I'm gonna go Argentina. I, I, I want them to win the World Cup. I do. Say what you want. It is what it is. Stay mad. Brazil, great team. Phenomenal roster. Going into this World Cup is going to be insane, but Argentina right now are in a 36 match unbeaten record. Considering their group stage of Mexico, Poland, and Saudi Arabia, they're going to destroy every single match. They're going to win every game and they're going to ride that momentum. They're going to ride it with France. They're going to take a breather against Netherlands and continue it with Brazil all the way to get them to the final. That's why I'm putting them in the final because as good as Brazil are, Argentina are coming in strong, very strong and do not sleep. England against Portugal, it's going to be a match. And I'm not going to lie, as much as I want to go Portugal to see an Argentina versus Portugal World Cup final in my predictions, but then again, Gareth Southgate, you know what I mean? Gareth Southgate is unpredictable and he might just mess up everything like he did in the Euros. So, Gareth Southgate's poor decisions, will they be able to outplay Portugal? Now, Big Ron is a factor. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know who would win in a match. 90 minutes, it's all or nothing. Who wins England or Portugal right now? I'm gonna give it a Ron. I'm sorry. And then of course, of course, 9 a.m. 18 of December, the World Cup final, and the winner is I'm sorry fellas. Stay mad, it's Argentina. That was our my predictions. Alright, well if you guys did enjoy this prediction, y'all be on the lookout because I'm gonna be uploading this content for the World Cup. I'm gonna be on TikTok, I'm gonna be on YouTube, Instagram, so make sure to follow. Everything will be on the description. Alright, that's been it. Peace.